everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's Sewing Squirrel Saw Project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a Halloween themed project. As you all know, Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. I get to dress up as the pirate and go out and roam the streets and put smiles on faces and make memories. But another favorite thing for me about Halloween is horror movies. I'm a huge horror movie person. I love watching the classics and some of the newer ones that come out. There's several scary movie marathons on throughout the month of September and October. And I like to try to get my Halloween theme projects out around September. That way you guys, my subscribers and followers, have time to take the videos in and maybe want to go off and make some of the projects on your own. I've already got the pattern printed out the full size and attached to our material which is half inch poplar with clear packing tape. And what better thing to go with Halloween than a good old fashioned haunted house. Here is the design. It has a lot going on in it and there's going to be some beautiful detail in it. At the top of the haunted house we have the witch flying overhead with the bat. Then at the base of the haunted house you have the classic horror movie chase sequence there. But really really cool. And then the word Halloween at the bottom. We're going to cut all this out on the scroll saw and then add a nice base to it out of oak. I think the two grains will complement each other once everything is prepared. But really really cool. Let's get the spooky season started and head over to the drill press and drill all of our pilot holes so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here at the drill press we're going to take a small drill bit and drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And there is several small internal cuts on this project. But we're just going to take our time and get through all of them and make a beautiful project. Now over here on the scroll saw I am using a number 5 ultra reverse shark tooth scroll saw blade and it's cutting through the wood exceptionally well and as I said there is some smaller details and I opted to keep using the number five blade as opposed to going down to a smaller blade because of the thickness of the wood but just going through here and getting some of the finer details cut out if you guys would like to try this pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot website over in his free pattern catalog. Halloween has always been one of my favorite holidays. I look forward to all the new scary movies coming out. I'm a horror movie fanatic and I watch about every one that comes out. Love the older ones though. The classics and my grandfather's birthday that taught me woodworking was on Halloween October 31st so it was always cool doing his party or get together with him while being in costume or having his birthday party and then going out trick-or-treating around the neighborhood very good memories but just going through here cutting out all the detail letting the blade do the work. I do not force the blade at all through none of the cuts. Now beginning to release the piece from the waste wood. And this piece of wood just fit the pattern. So we're just going around cutting out everything now. And I will take careful care around the witch. She has some very fragile details like her legs hanging down from the broom. But as always, just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Now that all the scroll work's done, we will remove the piece and measure for our baseboard, which is going to be oak. And head over to the table saw and do a simple cross cut here and then head over to the router and give two sides a nice OG profile and then we will move on to sanding and I will use 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander cleans up everything nice and smooth but then we will glue everything up with Gorilla Wood Glue after some finer touch up sanding with 220 grit sandpaper. Just lining it up as best I can by eyesight. And I will do other stuff in the workshop while this dries around an hour and a half. 
and then we will take it by the door and give it several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and once that dries the project is complete. And here we have the completed haunted house cut out completely on the scroll saw just in time for Halloween 2022 and it came out great. Thank you Steve Good for another amazing design from your pattern catalog. Keep in mind this is one of Steve's older Halloween pattern catalogs if you guys want to go looking for it to try this pattern out. But really, really cool. All of the details came out nice and crisp. And the two woods we use really complement each other. The poplar wood for the scroll work and then the oak for the base. And then the clear cut we added at the end really made everything pop. There are some beautiful details in this project like the word Halloween here at the bottom. And the windows have iconic Halloween scenes in them. I really love the chase scene going on in those two windows there. And I love the witch at the top of the haunted house there. Keep in mind she is fragile with the broomstick and her two feet hanging down there so just be careful when you go to transport it or move it around. I really think to display this it would look great in a windowsill with maybe a backlight behind it to really show off the details in it and to give it a spooky vibe but what a great project to kick off Halloween 2022. I'm so looking forward to getting in the pirate clothes and going out and having some more pirate adventures this Halloween season. It took me around 25 to 35 minutes to cut this out if anyone was wondering and I think all the details came out nice and crisp because of the blades we used. Those number five ultra reverse blades really, really do an amazing job on various thicknesses of wood. Of course, this was three quarter inch material here we cut out or half inch. It's in between, but really, really cool. I had fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make this. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.